Hey guys, after installing Proxmox, you will want to run a post installation script. This is because when you log in, you will get a nag about not having a valid subscription. You will also have a nag under updates that the enterprise repository is not enabled because you don't have an active subscription. So this means you can't run updates without changing this repository. There is a really easy solution for all of this. There are some Proxmox VA helper scripts. I'll leave a link down below in the description. And if you go under view scripts, you will see that one of the most viewed scripts is the Proxmox post install script. If you click on view script, you will see that the script provides options for managing Proxmox VE repositories, including disabling the enterprise repo, adding a, a adding or correcting PVE sources, enabling the no subscription repo, adding the test repo, disabling the subscription, uh, updating Proxmox VE, and rebooting the system. So uh, all of things you actually want to do. Uh, so here you will see that this is the script which it will run. And uh, well, if you want to check out the script before actually running it, there's a handy link down below uh, up here or right up here. So if you click on view source, you will be able to see what the script is actually doing. So it's always a good idea to review the script before running it. So going back here, there's an easy copy button you can press here. And now when we go into Proxmox, we will want to open a shell and copy the script here and run it. The script will perform post install routine, start the Proxmox V post install script. I'll say yes. And now it's asking correct the sources. I'll select yes again. Disable enterprise repository. Yes, because we can't use that without a subscription. Enable the no subscription repository. Yes, please. Uh, correct Ceph package sources. Well, we won't be using Ceph on this system, but we will just hit yes again. Add disabled PV test repository. So it's, it'll be adding it in the disabled state. That's fine. And then disable the subscription nag. Yes, please. Supporting the software development team is essential. So yeah, they do mention that to support them by using a subscription. Well, that's one way of supporting them. I'll click on OK. Um, so this is about high availability. And since we won't be running a clustered Proxmox environment and just running one node, we can disable high availability to save some resources. So let's hit yes. And now it's doing the last step. Disable sync for Proxmox VA cluster. Well, you can read about what CoroSync is actually doing, but uh, in my case, it's quite safe to just disable this. Update Proxmox, yes, please. That took more than a few seconds, but not many minutes. Uh, so then it's still asking me to, I want to reboot Proxmox, and I will say yes. Re rebooting Proxmox and the updates are done. I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, thanks for watching.